Hey everyone, this is part two of the Yo-Yo Project. In the first part, I made the two sides out of a single piece of aluminum round stock and got them to be nearly identical. In this part, I'll be making the three-piece axle, which includes the center shaft and the two custom nuts. After that, I'll be making a sort of bearing for the string, etching my channel logo into one of the sides, doing the final assembly, and wrapping it all up with a cinematic ending sequence. The axle shaft is going to be made from a small leftover piece of brass round stock, and at this point will probably be easier to just let you watch me make rather than try to explain the design. I designed the center shaft this way so that the side pieces will end up clamped between the shoulder of the axle and the nut. This allows everything to be tightened up while also maintaining the space between the sides for the string. For the axle nuts, I'm using more of the 8mm brass hex stock that I've been using recently in my other videos. I think it will look cool but also be functional in that I can work the material on the lathe but be able to use a wrench to put everything together. As with the sides, I had to make two nuts that were as close to the same as possible. Not only did I cut them to be the same length, I marked the drill bit so I removed the same amount of material from each one, keeping the weights as close as possible. Thank you. 
I also threaded the end of the remaining hex stock so I could mount all the pieces in the lathe in a way that gave me room to do the finishing sanding and polishing. When I was making the machinist's hammer, I thought it would be cool to have a green face and pick this up off eBay. It wasn't until later that I realized that the green color means it's infused with oil, and I decided it probably wasn't the best material for a hammer. However, I thought it might be a good choice for a bearing for this yo-yo. If you've seen my other videos before, you know the process, but as usual, I'm using a vinyl template I cut with aluminum black to etch the inside of one of the sides. I had a terrible time getting this string to work, as every time I tried to fuse the end, it just broke the knot. All said and done, the components include the two sides, two axle nuts, the center shaft, and the string with the bearing. Assembly is pretty straightforward, except one of the threads must have gotten nicked as I needed to chase it with the die before the nut would thread nicely. And that's it. Ultimately, the bearing didn't work well as it didn't have enough friction to spin the yo-yo, but I think it turned out better than I expected it to. 
At this point, stay tuned for the cinematic end sequence. I felt creative and decided to have some fun with it, so please let me know what you think in the comments, or hit that thumbs up if you like it. Otherwise, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, be sure to check the description for links for the various things I use, and definitely subscribe if you aren't already.